Oh, they wouldn't concentrate. They would all fight to be in the first row. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so they wouldn't concentrate, right? They wouldn't concentrate. What else? Sisters, please feel free. I need to just say. <coughs> The what? Right, and it wouldn't be appropriate for the woman to be in the front. Uh, yes, Shiraz? The concept of the times that women couldn't lead the prayer. There would be times when they couldn't lead the prayer. So the, the Imam al Ratib is a woman, she's paid to lead the five salawat, and there are times when she wouldn't be able to lead the prayer. That's a problem. Uh, Hamza? Uh, if she's leading the prayer, then probably the other women are between the other brothers in the prayer and the line. Yeah, where, where the other women go. So, okay, that's another issue. Uh, yes, young man? Yeah, it'll be weird that if, let's suppose we left it as men in the front, women in the back, but women can lead the men sometimes. So she'll be like right up there amongst the men, and then there's men, and then there's women again. It's just a really weird situation. Let's, let's use the same argument now. Why, why, aren't, why weren't any women prophets of Allah? And I wonder sometimes when Muslim women ask us why weren't, like, and they ask with like, I mean, they, not the ones in Calgary, mashallah, the ones in Calgary. <laughs> but they argue with attitude. Like, you know, and like they're objecting against Allah. Why aren't any women prophets? So come on, think about it. Let's think about it together. And, yes, yeah. Men are just natural leaders. <laughs> <laughs> you know the brother's wife is not in the room. You know it. <laughs> he said men are natural leaders. All right. Okay. When was the last time that representative from an army well, was a woman or sent to another army? Okay, so, so now let's break it down nice and soft. Don't, don't <laughs> take it easy. Remember, there's some sisters in the room. When was the last time a woman led an army? Like, relax. Okay. <laughs> Look, let me, let, let me put your hand, sorry, I'm exaggerating to what you said, but let me put what you said in a diplomatic way. You know? <laughs> Say from the response, amongst the responsibility. <laughs> Amongst the responsibilities of, the, of, of a prophet of Allah is also to be the leader of the army. And in this specific role, the woman would not be any, a good, uh, this would be a good position for her as well. There's some other points. Yes, sir? A woman's reputation is much easier to tarnish. Okay, that's also true. He said the woman's reputation is easier to tarnish. And that's very true, right? That's why there's severe punishment against a man accusing a woman of something with no witnesses. That's why he's beaten and whipped and punished for that. Uh, yes, sir? Uh, physically, they can easily be defeated. Oh, man, but make, it, make it smooth. <laughs> physically, they can easily be defeated. <laughs> Walk around like... <laughs> it's a joke I do with my wife. I always go like this. <laughs> but my wife, she doesn't mess around. She's like, come on! <laughs> That's it. And uh, when her people need her, when she goes on maternity leave. Thank you. Maternity leave, that's a problem. When the Prophetess of Allah has uh, yeah, any PMS, any, you know, and she's cranky. Come on, people. I'm ter- it's serious. So it's weird when people say things like this. Yeah. Or when she can't lead the Salah anymore. Or and now during that time of the month, she has to lead the armies in two months of, of journey and jihad. It's different, and it just doesn't make sense. People just ask without thinking. You know, if you think about it, it's actually unfair for a woman to be a prophet of Allah. And then she's pregnant for nine months, and it's weird, and, and it's weird. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, uh, sorry, we'll get to the system. Yes, sir. If you see the stories of the uh, Arab nations in Quran, then you can better understand that most of the uh, male persons are even unable to uh, go with it. Mm-hmm. The, the burden was so heavy, some of the prophets of Allah I mean, I mean, had difficulty with the burdens and the difficulties they experienced. Yes, sister? Mm-hmm. 
Okay. All right, excellent. So, Zakil Khair, and I'm happy that a sister said that, you know. I don't have to say, you know, you weep more or whatever. But good. Shiraz, uh, let's end it there. The fact that all prophets and messengers were men has never hindered women from getting into Jannah. Exactly. You know, do you have to have a prophet that's a, a female? Does it have to be? Or what's the point? The point is the message of Allah comes to humanity, Akhwan. That's the point. So, why is, again, the radical feminist movement th- thinking that, you know, men did this, women do this. Why did a man do this and a woman can't do this? Why is a man a prophet? What? Yani. So, uh, so, the other brother is saying a very good point. The whole point is the message of Allah reaches humanity. People go to Jannah. It doesn't matter if tribe, you know, if prophets came from this tribe or that tribe, or they spoke this language versus, versus that language. And then we're going to have people. So, you know, you might complain. Well, how come the prophet spoke commander? It's not an issue as long as the message reaches people. But okay, next point, Ahmed. Uh, difference between Sunni and Shia. Okay, skip that one. We'll make a circle or mark around it. We can come back to it later. Next one. Uh, polygamy. Okay. Polygamy, and, and really we're talking about polygyny, right? Because polygamy is just when one of the spouses marries more than the other. Which, so polygamy includes, includes polygyny and polyandry. So of course we don't have that polyandry stuff, so it's polygyny, right? When a male marries more than Why is that permissible? Quickly now, these are quick short points. Yes? Yes? Men to, women, men to women ratio. Men to women ratio. Two. Yes? To reduce corruption. Now? Go ahead. Corruption. Reduce corruption when you're able to marry more, right? Yep. Okay, great. We, me and you, we set up citizens against corruption in Calgary. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Should us. I have greater sexual desires. Okay, thank you. I won't repeat that. Yes. <laughs> uh, easier to trace lineage. Easier to trace lineage. That's very true. Yeah, I th- sometimes Muslim women with attitude, of course they're not from Calgary, <laughs> they with attitude and come and say, how come a, a woman can't marry four? Are you kidding me? Are you serious about this question? And actually, there was something, some documentary of this, where they tried that. A woman married two. It's just despicable. The whole idea is that he has to take care of four men's houses, four men's and different children, and clean and cook and all that. And just physically impossible also. And lineage. And one of the aims of the Sharia, by the way, came to protect lineage. Yes, sir. Um, the, with four women, you can have four children. Okay, that also makes sense. Then we also wish to tell people, but how do you know who's the father? And now they have the audacity to tell you DNA. <laughs> DNA? They just, have, they just made that up. I mean, recently. How about years, for thousands of years? How would they solve that back then? Sure, now you have the solution. All right, uh, real quick. Well, yeah? I just want to add something. There is actually a couple here in Calgary who are happily married. And what do you mean, a couple? Get, well, the ladies. Uh-huh. Yeah, and, and they had a, a chat with my uncle, who's an accountant, and basically the same thing, what you were talking about. So, you mean there are two women married to each other, Yanni? And they're Muslims as well. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. See? And they have children? No, not yet. Yeah, see, I mean, look, when, when you go sick, you go sick. And when you're sick, you're sick. You don't have to study. That's not my shit. That's how it works, you know. I mean, the, there's, there's a, docu- <coughs> it's not a documentary, but an interview with people. I forget why I don't want to get it. Yes, sir. I just wanted to say that you know, DNA is still not a solution because it's too expensive for those who really need it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's still not like like that quick, but okay. Uh, sister? Do women are given their marital rights rather than being property? Now? Do women are given their rights rather than being property? Rather than being property. And if I can be an advocate for women, I mean, then they're barely getting their rights from one guy now for <laughs> bad <these days>. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear you. To look after her? Yeah. Takbir! 